This conference will now be recorded. Okay, team. So, right. Okay. Right. Thanks for joining this session again, team. Uh, right. So, we are going to start the Rex module running from tomorrow. Okay. We are going to start Rex module running from tomorrow. So, today is a demo just to give overview of Rex, what we can do with the Rex okay for whom the rex is useful once you complete the rex training where you are going to land all of them i am going to cover the course duration and the timings okay and i'll address all your questions right so to attend the rex module training team you should uh, you know should have minimum mainframe knowledge i have seen there are some people who don't have mainframe knowledge, but they joined Rex. After that, I asked them to draw from the second day. Okay. The prerequisite is to attend the training. So you should mainframe resource. Whether you are in a support team, whether you are in maintenance project, whether you are a DB to DBA, whether you are a uh, you are working in uh, operation mainframe operations, whether you are a JDOA admin, irrespective of the role in mainframe, you are good to join. So the prerequisite is you should have minimum knowledge on the main frame. So because uh, you know the keywords, the screen navigation, everything we are doing on the main frame only, right? So without them, if you attend, you will use it. So that is all about prerequisites. And so do I need to know anything uh, Rex before I land? Yeah. So no need to know anything. Thing. We are st starting from the basics. Okay, if you don't know anything about Rex before this particular training, 100% perfectly fine because we are going to start from the basics, which means that what is Rex, okay, and how to write a Rex program. When I say program, it is a language, but it is not a complex language. Like, uh, you know, like a COBOL or PL1, Java, it is not like complex language. It is very easy. So I can say that uh, COBOL is easy than writing Java program. COBOL, writing a COBOL program is easy than Java. But Rex is easier than COBOL. So you can, you know, understand how Rex is easy. So using, uh, you know, Rex is easy to understand, to write the program. If you see even IBM manual also, they mention the same. Okay, Rex is easy for anyone. It is easy for beginners and experienced people as well as okay so you are starting from the basics how to write a rex program okay how to write a rex program there are different ways to execute the program you know we can execute through jcl we can execute directly without uh, jcl also and so when i say the programming language so we will be having uh, operators data types okay and Automatic operators, relational operators, concoordination operators, logical operators. Once we are done with uh, basics of, of, of an operators, we will see, okay, we will see conditional statements, uh, how to write a if condition, how to write a switch case, that is select, okay, and built-in functions, system defined functions, loops. So in Java, we have a for loop. In COBOL, we have a for form loop. In Rex programming language, we have a do loop, okay, and while loop, there are multiple loops are there. We are going to see them. So till eleventh uh, topic, uh, I can say it is a basics of Rex, okay, uh, basics of Rex. So till eleventh topic. So from I can say level one programs. Level one is a basics. Then subroutines is i can say is a level two okay so how to write a how to invoke the uh, how to write the subroutine how to invoke the another rex program how to there is a uh, few lines few lines code is there in another member of the previous how to execute them okay so there are things we are going to discuss so once we are done with all the basics we are going to discuss file handling okay we are going to discuss file handling so through rex program how to create a file how many ways are there to create a file 
how we can copy the data from one file to another file sequential file handling and partition data set and processing the members of the pds how to process sequential file how to process mem uh, pds specific members all the members how to rename the file how to delete a file and how to see the data content of the file how to read and update right all these functionalities we are going to discuss so once i am done with that uh, you know uh, that is topic then i'll start introducing the real time automation tools so i am going to start real time automation tools so uh, it is not complex automation tool team because if i start writing complex automation tool full fledged automation tool it takes minimum 20 hours 15 hours to complete it okay so for anyone in any training it's very difficult to cover everything but you will get a overall picture so i'll explain one okay so how to find okay i want to you know extract extract empty files from pdns which has a members okay so the pds has a jcl members assume that so pds has a jcl members in this members there are multiple steps are there so there are uh, 100 members are there okay and 20 data sets are there you can imagine that way right so total 10 data 10 pdss are there okay so one pds we have a 40 members we have a 40 members in the second pds we have a 100 members so i need to scan I'm telling you the type of the automation yeah go on I'm checking team who is talking so, so that I can note them. Yeah. So, you know, uh, there is a 10, P data, 10 data sets are there in one PDS. Okay. PDS 1 has 40 members, PDS 2 has a 20, 100 members. Okay. In each member, multiple steps are there. There is a PDS 3, 60 members are there. So, now my requirement is that, okay, I need to open each member from all the 10 data sets and check it empty files okay so doing manually is very difficult and lengthy it is a lengthy process time taking process and we cannot say it is 100 percent accurate okay so this is the one we can create okay using rex this is the one we can do it so for this you should know uh, how to read the members of the pds and extract the data set name check it with the, it has a data or not okay so a lot of things we can do it in this particular tool i'm giving you the tools what we can develop okay so there is a second tool okay so this is the one i am going to create in, in create in our training so i will mark as a star mm -hmm. so that you will get an idea and you will remember that so i want to extract okay I want to extract the member name. Sorry, I want to extract the program name and corresponding sorry, step name and corresponding program name. So in JCL. So if you see JCL, we have a step one. Put PZM is equal to IEFBR14, something will be there. So extract the step name and program so once i extract the step name and the corresponding program i will be running into report file so i'll create a report file in the report file so from all the steps from all the you know members of the jcl all the members i'm going to extract the step name and program name so what is the use of it that is project to project okay so when i say automation each project have their own unique requirements 
okay so if you see the python so if everyone using python in the same way no right so in your project you will be using as per your project requirement right so in a organization 10 projects are there 10 projects people using python in different ways so all are using and all are you know implementing automation only but the requirements are different okay so this is the one i am going to design so there is the other one space append resolver okay so there is a third tool i am going to design develop in, in our training space event resolver so i would like to ask one question to you here if i get uh, sb37 sd37 how do you resolve it if you get sb or sd37 space event how do you resolve it increasing the cylinder size how do you increase the it? The can you check it? Can you increase it? Okay. Once you create the file, can you increase it? We can perform a reorg. Uh, basically, copy the data, increase, and then increase not the data. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So, what is said is corrective or coexist. Okay, reorg is said, right? Example. There is a x dot y dot get. I want to increase the primary quantity, secondary quantity for this particular file. So, if there is no tool, what are the steps you do? First one, you create a one file with uh, primary quantity, secondary quantity, high more values. Okay, so you will create a file with the uh, huge quantity compared to the x dot y dot get. So, once you create the new file, what I do? I'll copy the content, symbols, whatever it is. I'll copy the content from x dot, x is the old one, to a dot, b dot, c. So once I am done, delete x dot, y dot, z. Then rename from a dot, a, b, c to x dot, y dot, z. So it's much story you have to do it. Okay. So this many steps you have to do it and you know while you're doing all these steps if you do by, by mistake if you delete uh, x dot y dot z without copying you can imagine the story you can imagine the external story so so while you're doing this many steps human errors can occur okay human errors can occur right so using rex we can overcome all these challenges okay with the the fraction of minute seconds you can able to create you can increase the primary secondary quantity or record length you can do all of them within a fraction of seconds okay and that particular tool can be used by all the members in a team not only by you anyone in your team can use it so you can create more generic way also the next tool i'm going to explain okay so that is COBOL coding standard. First three is all about BNCL. The next one is COBOL coding standards. So if you are in maintenance project, basically, okay, if you are in a development project, if you are in a development project, once you develop the programs, once you develop the application, at the end, the client might see the standards, okay? Like, you know, each pair after pair uh, declaration, Para name should start with the number. Okay, so comments should be there. Unused variables should not be there. So there are some guidelines given by the client, whether you followed while developing the application or not. So we need to do that. So it's very difficult for us to open each member manually, checking the standards. It's very difficult, right? So what we can do? We can write a Rex program to check the standards. So, if I, you know, trust, okay, believe me that if I want to create a real time COBOL coding standard tool, minimum I need 20 days. 20 days and every day I need to spend 8 hours. So, imagine how much time it is going to take, but it is very useful. Okay, it is very useful. You can reuse it. 
so this is the one we don't discuss the full fledged one but you will you will see some scenarios from the complex requirement so these are all the tools and the one which i marked with the stars i am going to develop it if i keep on listing there are so many tools you can create in the rex okay so rex can be used wherever uh, there is a repetitive task okay where is there, there is a repetitive task that can be automated using rex on mainframe so let's go back to the content so as i said based on the content what we discussed i am going to create four tools i listed only three but so during session you will get four if you don't get you are good to ask me during training also you said four why you expend two three so the next one is macros okay so if you want to create any shortcut commands like you know uh, we are using i guess you are using same reset command find the command change the command calls command so how you are using predefined tso commands similarly if you want to create user defined command to save the time to save the time we can use macros example so i will give one example for you okay uh, before i give the example i would like to ask one question okay so there is a js here let me do quickly login i don't take much time here So give me the answer how you do in your project okay are you using any automation tool not you give me the answer that okay thing so now okay and this this particular member has only one step but in real time there okay you might be having 100 steps now i want to open this particular file or i want to open this file how you do it so i am analyzing the jcl code i am seeing the jcl code so all of sudden uh, i want to see one particular file the file which i am analyzing i want to see this file what do you do this is the requirement what you do on you do i want to see the content of this file what are the steps you do Do you have any shortcut command in your project? Yeah, in our yeah, project, can, like I'm using Linux. One by one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so in our project, there is a command called TSO CB. So that if I, uh, or to know, give the command in the command line, and uh, put the cursor on the file name, it opens it. CB Very is good. like it will open in a browse mode, and CE it will open in a edit mode. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, good. Next, uh, someone never to answer. How you do it? If there is no tool, okay. If there is no tool. Uh, what do you do? We need to go in start three point four option, and we need to find that file, or else we need to open it in file manager. Exactly. so we can uh, uh, hello venkat so we can go to that particular file and uh, press f1 twice so that that file can be opened mm -hmm. okay okay so let me open okay whatever i am talking i will do it in front of you this is the tool which i downloaded so i might be navigating very quickly don't worry i do i will go very slow in planning as this much stuff is not required for you so i want to because you are already aware uh, the you know mainframe screen right now see uh, i'll type demo 3 and i will say g i want to open this file mm, wait I have to modify something more here. Yeah. 
so demo 3 and i play with this one so you can see the you know in a single command i can able to open the member of the pds right so what i did demo 3 okay, e so i can rename it from demo 3 demo 3 is may not be the right appropriate one i know okay so we can give the meaningful name like you know ds open in like this we can do it so whatever i shown to you that that i developed using macros that i developed using macros so if i want to open the same file in a browse mode demo 3 v place the cursor on any I mean the place the cursor on the line where data set is there i don't need to place the cursor exactly on data set name anywhere on that line okay so now you can see it is open in a browse mode i guess i don't know whether what i typed but it is open in browse mode okay so you can create like that uh, two macros okay so today just today i had a session in the morning okay so morning we are having we are we are having session 7 30 to 8 30 we are about to complete okay so these are all macros we are going to discuss when telling you the shortcuts okay what are the shortcut what is the meaning of shortcut then 16th how to read the spool data some uh, somebody uh, you know uh, reading the data somebody said initially right uh, xdc xdc creating the files all of them you can do with the rex okay all of them you can do with the rex so we'll see how to through rex program how to read the spool data if you are in support project okay this particular 16th topic is going to help the people who are in the support okay if you are in support you keep on uh, observing the spool data right so you know you need to monitor you need to extract every two hours data something you want to do you, want, you need to work around spool data then you can do with the rex then after then introduction to db2 how to connect to the db2 from rex then we are going to see panels creation is all our overuse then whatever the content we discussed on the macros right we'll create a two tools on macros so these are all the topics we are going to cover in this particular uh, rex module training okay so while i'm explaining topics you got to i guess you would have got to know uh, what is the use usage of rex what we can do with the rex right so coming to the timings theme uh, Monday to when, as I said, we are starting the Rex model running from tomorrow. So from tomorrow we are going to start same time 9 p.m. Okay. So daily uh, sessions will be Monday daily sessions Monday to Friday. Okay. So Monday to Friday. So 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. So if any particular day if i am absent let's say thursday i will you know if i am absent i will take i will compensate that also on next weekend means uh, one day if i could not able to take due to some personal reason not well then i don't want to drag the training for a hundred days so to i'll compensate on the next coming weekend only so okay otherwise official timings will be monday to friday so as i said when we are not able to take the session i will take on saturday sunday there is no session at all saturday only will be there that too if i take a leave in that particular week so that is all about timings and you will get soft copy material okay so you will get soft copy material from my end and class notes so i will show you what is the class notes okay i told you right you know in the last month may i started one batch so you can see these are all the class notes okay uh, if you see this are our class notes okay i will open particular 10 any any day you open so whatever i have written on the server i will copy paste in the notepad you can see in this data set i have written as an one so whatever i write on the server i'll copy paste in the notepad so that you can uh, refer these class notes and do the hands-on before you come to the next session because 
if it is a classroom training what we do so when trainer is explaining teacher is explaining we will note it but here it is virtual so seeing the screen and noting them is very challenging so you don't need to note anything i'll write the definitions everything in the class notes i'll copy the programs from mainframe environment to notepad you can execute on your server uh, without taking any perm any permission from anyone okay since rex is uh, no pre configurations are required on mainframe environment so uh, that is all about class notes you will get it then uh, somebody asked about the recording videos yes uh, if you attend any my trainings not only the rex either kicks jcl visa any training you take we i don't provide the recording videos by default okay which means that attending live come recording videos i don't provide it but let's say you after this course you started attending the trainings so two three days you are not well are you stuck in office meetings you are are you are in you are in traffic reason can be anything two to three days just you can inform me five minutes before or a day before five minutes before is also fine you inform me or email stating that i am not able to attend provide me the recorded video i will share the recorded video so that you can watch and come to the next session so that facility will be there but every day once i complete the training i don't provide the recorded video okay so that is all about the class notes and the process yeah any other queries now you are good to ask the questions so i am done then okay as if you are interested so if you are interested you can uh, Hey, WhatsApp me. I guess if you don't have my WhatsApp WhatsApp number, this is my WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp me. I'll tell you the rest of the process. The course fees is four thousand rupees. You have to pay in a single pay a uh, single installment, and you will get the mainframe ID to practice on sharing basis. Uh, if you want to practice on your client system, yes, you are good to do it. And what is the process? How to connect to the mainframe server and all? I'll explain once you join the course. But you will get the idea access till you complete the training. So next question uh, here, I'll I'll take my myself while you know I'll post few queries like how it is useful for me, right? Uh, no, you are asking to pay four thousand, which is the only one part of is a part of the main frame. It is not a main frame course. So this type of the questions will be there in our mind. Okay, as a participant, if I think yes, hundred percent. That question will be there. Like, so there are some other technologies you can learn five thousand, seven thousand rupees. But Rex is a just one part, right? JCL, Cobol, DB2. There are so many. Rex is one module in mainframe. Yeah. So I agree with you. Okay. So as a you know when I when you see participant of point of view, Rex, you might feel that four thousand is uh, cost involved. So it is. You might feel that it is a okay uh, more cost, but you know. The content which I am providing, if you get that content less than seven thousand from anyone, let me know. I will give my course for free of cost. So I am giving a statement in front of thirty-six participants, not one participant. Okay. So which means that uh, you know the content which I am dealing, it is till intermediate level. So there are some experienced people who are having good experience. And next, they can give comment. They can uh, force their comment. Not a problem. So yet, you know, once you complete this training thing, okay, once you complete the training, you will become a uh, Rex expert. But conditions apply. Whatever the programs I am explaining, you have to do the hands-on. What are the assignments I am giving? I'll be explaining. I'll be giving assignments also in training. What are the assignments I am giving? You do do it, and I'll give few real-time scenarios. You do on them also. Automatically, you will become a Rex expert. Okay, fine. So I learned Rex. How it is useful, right? I talked about friends and all. So there are multiple ways the Rex is going to benefit to your team. One is uh, your knowledge. Knowledge is first first point in my list. Knowledge will be there if you want to continue in mainframe technology. 
learning rex is not a wrong decision okay at the same time i'm not uh, pressuring i'm not admitting it you can check with your colleagues friends seniors then only join please okay so because i might be telling all advantages right so you might think that venkat is telling to is slowly is <laughs> you know making interest to join that is not the case here i am telling the facts you can cross check with your colleagues seniors friends first one is if you learn rex knowledge will be there the second one so let's say you are in working in a project you want to stay in that project for 2 3 years or more than 5 years or in that organization so what happens here team uh, you know everybody is doing their work okay you are doing in project work your colleague is doing your friends are doing in the same team at the end of the year your manager will ask you hey what you did additional how i can give you promotion now i can give a good idea so you can utilize this knowledge create some tools create some automation tools save the time get good rewards or appreciations from your client and that helps you to get good i car good promotion whatever you call that is the one the second one when you are switching the company nowadays here and there people are asking do you know rex you can put in your resume i know rex i created these many tools whatever you created okay so that way also it is going to help knowledge end of the year you can showcase something every year you can create it and when you are switching the company there also the time also it is going to benefit to you yeah so that's all from my end team uh, i would like to take questions from you if you have any queries i'll stop sharing so before the first session we need to pay the fee is it before tomorrow yeah so yes okay. you have to do it okay let me give another yeah since you asked explicitly let me you know, give more let's say you paid the course fees you attended two days but you did not like it my presentation or any reason i will return your 100% amount and it is back without uh, asking reason because without attending the when I mean, without attending the more sessions you are paying so i have to give that much content for you also right so this is i do it okay so if you ask me about yeah yeah venkat i lost you can you please repeat i'm saying that if you pay, let's say you paid the course fees tomorrow after two days you don't like my presentation or you, uh, you don't want to continue for some extra reason i will return money after two days no problem 100% i will return as this okay so that's all from my end phone pay or google pay i can do account details also that is not a problem but easiest way is google pay phone pay right Uh, hi, Mr. Uh, hi, Mr. This is Krishna here. Uh, this question is not related to Rex, uh, but this is in general related to your trainings. Uh, do you offer any mainframe modernization courses or anything related to mainframe talking to APIs or front end? No, Krishna. So, no. So I am trying to bring the people. Any or not, I don't have an experience. I am trying to bring the people, but they are trying to give theoretical experience, not practical. Okay. okay so yeah so sure. sure. okay i am trying to find the resource who can deliver uh, sessions on mainframe modernization i am searching for the people <laughs> if i find i'll let you okay. know but if you are on sure. my whatsapp I'll be looking chat, forward. You... Yeah, yeah thank you yeah, yeah. yeah any other queries Uh, Venkat, sorry, I missed. I think you must have answered this. This uh, the course is for how many days altogether? Uh, yeah, I did not answer. Somebody asked in oh. the message. Okay. Yeah, uh, it is. You know, I am committing for 15 days, but 
if the there is a more interaction okay i can come i can take 20 days also 20 plus days also or i might finish it in 13 days also minimum 13 days will be there the reason why i don't give uh, i'll share my screen again quickly okay why uh, i don't give the number of days exactly there is, there is a reason why uh, that so if you see my this particular right so today i had a session that is 24 6th day 24 so still i have five more days which means that for next training only this is the batch that which is the one currently going on one it took 30 days going to take 30 days but i committed them only uh, 12 to 15 days i have given a commitment 12 to 15 days but it, it is going for almost 30 days the reason for that why it is going 30 days is it are you covering 30 minutes no every session i am taking almost 55 minutes so the reason why this many days i took they are asking the questions they are more interested in asking and getting the clarity and all okay so when the participants are asking more questions i will get more interest to show more examples on different scenarios okay so but Ideally, it is 12 to 15 days. If nobody is asking the questions, I can finish the entire X training length than 15 days. Because obviously, right, when nobody is speaking, you know, as a presenter, so you will continue your flow. Correct? Do you agree with me? Yeah, so the 12 to 15 days is the reason. Uh, Venkat, I wanted to ask one thing, like uh, you had demonstrated one of your tools, right? Where then, uh, you just press one command, uh, uh, like you wrote the command and you uh, mentioned the mode of opening, whether it is view or browse and uh, place the cursor on that file and hit enter that file to open, right? So that uh, reduces the human effort, but I also wanted to ask one thing. So suppose uh, there is one library, like proc library or job leak. And if you want to open a particular member or a particular prop, then we need to go into 3.4. Then we need to locate that uh, particular member and open. So is there any way possible like uh, just by writing the command on ISPF panel, we can open that particular prop or particular job? Can we prepare such tool? Yeah, it can be done. Uh, like suppose uh, if I want to open a proc, then if I write proc and just writing uh, that name of that particular proc and opening that proc, is it possible to do that? Yeah, it is possible, but you need to set all the data sets on all the data sets. Okay, you need to go with your main on your ID. How many data sets are there? Okay, you need to scan all of them. Yeah, that is possible. I don't say it is not possible, but again, it is going to become. It is going to hang for one minute 30 seconds also because it has to scan all the data sets. So if you give the location, yes, straight forward, it is very dead easy. But if you don't give uh, any data set where it got stored, then it mm. takes some time because it has to scan all data sets on your ID, right? No, suppose if it is a plan specific library, like we are working in a project that we would be having only one library in that we would be storing all the procs and jobs, right? So then, then that, has a, huh. that can be done within time. Okay, yeah, yeah, that can be done with the 20 lines of the next code like that. Okay. Hi, Vankar. Yeah, hi. My name is Shantan. Um, I have a question uh, regarding the mainframe ID that you will be providing us with. So, will that be uh, valid for? Some particular days, or uh, it will be there for until we are crossing all the other courses. If you want to go for sure for other mainframe courses, so the basically now we are talking about Rex, correct? So you are supposed to do only hands on Rex till you complete the training. The day when your last day, that day will be the last day for accessing the ID. Okay. okay. So for each particular uh, classes, we will be providing. That, uh, ID. Yeah, I am procuring the ID now, so it's not my own ID, right? I'm taking for rent and I'm giving it to my participants. Okay. 
Okay, so that is included in the amount that you are taking, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't charge any additional amount. The price which I sent everything contains no additional amount. Thank you. And uh, yeah, Venkat, this is Abhinash, and uh, like this, uh, we, we can connect to mainframe from our uh, like Windows uh, Windows laptop, right? No, we need not have to, or do we need any specification to install this or connect to the client? No, it is Windows. If it is the latest operating system, it is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. If you're using XP, okay. no problem. But if you're using uh, recent ones, I guess it is okay. You can okay, do it. Thank you. I mean, we could, do we need to connect to VM or something uh, where uh, we, no, we can connect to the... Okay. Yeah, just uh, install the emulator, provide the IP address of the server, which I go, which I'm going to tell you, log in, that's all, simple steps. Okay, got it. Okay, any other queries? Okay, team. So thanks for joining this session. So if you want, uh, you know, one hour or first two hour session, I guess it is there in YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel, you have been ranked since 2010. If you want to know about my technical stuff, it is there in my YouTube channel. Okay. So if you are interested, please you can contact me. Okay, on the given number seven double nine double seven four five zero eight five. Yeah.